is. It's like, what's the waste game? Tommy shit in the motherfucking building, God, you know? Damn, that body crack. Crack. Coca Lean on the track. Hey. I got something for every last one of you raggedy ass bitches. Uh, thanks to the damn music playing in the background, I can't even post it on YouTube. But let me just say this. If you want to hear what, what Tommy was saying, and you can find out why she was almost brought to tears and hear the anger in her voice and, and understand the magnitude of the situation, man. I'm telling you, if Jocelyn was there with her in person in that restaurant or wherever they were, whew, she, she would have tore Jocelyn up. She would have been fighting for her life. Tommy would have picked up a table and busted her upside her noggin with it. I'm not playing Jesus. I don't even think that she would care that Jocelyn's allegedly pregnant. They would have been brawling up in there. Real talk. So here's the deal. Click the link below the description box. Watch the video for yourself to hear the audio of what she's saying on this video. But you know, the whole coca -Lean thing happened where Prima Donna was selling t-shirts that say coca -Lean on them, making fun of Jocelyn. Of course, Jocelyn put together with coke <laughs> hell you are what you sniff <laughs> right so tommy lee was wearing the coca lean t-shirts mimi faust was wearing them and jessica dime now look at this here's what tommy had to say about this video on instagram she said what a fucking coward you can't change these days ninjas won't let you so at vh1 jocelyn hernandez sent the people to my house like the rat she is and to whatever makeup artist got paid to give up my address, yours is just as valuable. I got $5,000 for whoever got info on this situation. Hashtag Tommy shit. Jeez, so somebody sold out Tommy, allegedly? That's freaking crazy. I mean, come on now. I, I don't know how much money that they did it for. They did it just off the strength that they love Jocelyn. But this, this whole situation is getting so messy that I'm just going to have to turn around <laughs> and walk away from it. I'm not even going to give an opinion other than this is wrong. The whole thing is wrong. I think somebody's actually going to get hurt this time. And yeah, and this is really crazy. Speaking about people getting hurt, this is just after Sass, Scrap Deleon's brother, was shot in the back of the head in Arizona. So this is just too much. The, everything that's going on, I'm telling you, they really need to get rid of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta now because it's too much drama. People are going to get hurt for real. And somebody's going to be dead by season six. This is crazy. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. Play nice, ladies, even though I know you're not going to. But I have to say it.